and welcome to the Diana Fell Zone Show, where we are here on Pal Talk every Thursday at 11 a.m. EST. So thank you so much for joining us. I am highly caffeinated today, so oh, you're going to get a jam-packed show. Uh -oh. And also, I have to say that I, I really love my theme song, but Phil Collins just, you know, singing beforehand it's tops, as as uh, Sunny says. Phil Collins is tops, and I love him. I think he's great, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little musical intro as well. Well, I know that you're asking me, Diana, who is that man sitting next to you? Who is that man? Is that your imaginary friend? No, no. The doctor told me he's real. I brought in John DeVore. John is a good friend of mine, former co-host of DeVore and Diana. I'm Sirius XM, and uh, we wanted to talk today about dating on a budget. Everything is being affected by this recession that we're having. I wanted it to sound a little bit more sophisticated than it is, a little bit more fun, so I put a spin on the recession. Um, for those of you out there who are saying, you know what, I want to go out, I want to be dating, I want to have a good time, but how do I do it on a dime? Well, we're going to give you some of those how-tos. Also, for those of you out there right now who are saying, I don't have a mic, I can ask questions, and you're freaking out, please don't. All you need to do is I am your questions to me, and I will read them aloud, and we will talk straight away. And if you do have a mic, that makes me very happy, because that means we can correspond and I can hear your lovely voices. John, thank you yes. so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, you're welcome. You're welcome, John DeVore. <laughs> you, you really are welcome. You're, now, looking, you're looking fabulous this morning. I just want you to know that. Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, also, John DeVore is also a, I don't want to say blogger. I feel like you're I more a than columnist. a blogger. You're a columnist. Yeah, thank you. He's a columnist on thefrisky.com, which right. has kind of swept the, the world by storm. I have women coming up to me on the streets of New York City that go, do you know John DeVore? He cool. writes so many truthful things about dating and relationships on the Frisky. The column's called Mind of Man, and I wrote something, Dana, that you should check out about Valentine's Day. Oh. And I'm I'm going to have my man card revoked because of what I wrote. So. What did you, well, can you tell us? Um, it's about Valentine's Day and what it should be about versus what it is about. And Chocolate. a lot of stuff about love and blah, blah, blah. And I'm totally going to get my man card revoked. No. Oh. But I, I talk a little bit about uh, 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 Valentine's Day on a budget because everything is about everything's about budget. Everything's about a budget, and I think for now a lot of men feel pressure. And, and you can disagree with me, but I, I know a lot of guys out there are saying it's hard out there. It, it's hard to keep a job. It's hard to to cut down costs when costs are still high. Um, and how do you? How do you court a woman in this day and age right. where, you know, you can't afford to take her to a $100 dinner every time you go out? Well, thankfully, out. there are women that have never been impressed by that. I mean, you're not – you're a woman that, no. quite frankly, uh, could be very – could be impressed with uh, with Wendy's. It's true. Like a guy who a guy <laughs> who rolls up to Diana's place or whatever with a bag filled with <laughs> Wendy's, you're going to love that as much as a four-star restaurant. I really – Yes, actually, I'd probably love it more because you would know my heart a little bit better. So, how are there? How is it possible for for certain people to to woo a woman without having the money to do so? Like you said, if someone brought me a Wendy's picnic and knocked on my door with you know a cheap bouquet, a five dollar bouquet of flowers, even if they were like daisies, I would just adore it. Well, look, in when when times are strapped, when everyone is sort of broke, there is a premium on cleverness and surprise. Women love surprises. Little sort of do, not not <laughs> sur surprises that say, "Hey, I was thinking about you when you yeah. were out of out of sight." Not <laughs> not here's my son. <laughs> not, not not that kind of surprise. But I mean, there's there's a premium on. Well, look, the big conversation is is let me ask you this is a uh, uh, when when during a recession, is Dutch the way that it just goes? I mean, do you think that do you think that women now no. expect that first dinner to be paid for? I think that even now, and I'm going to sound harsh. If you can't afford to take a woman out to dinner, you don't take her out to dinner. That doesn't mean you don't 
date her mm -hmm. just means that you come up with a creative way. Obviously, a first date, you're not going to be like, come to my place and we'll have a picnic on the floor and it'll be sexy. No, you're not going to do that. <laughs> and you're especially not going to do it in that voice. No, do it in that <laughs> Come on in. Come on in, lady. Have a picnic on my floor. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not the way to go, but if you can't have that expensive dinner, I say, by all means, what you should be doing is being more creative and say, well, why don't we, you know, it's winter, so you're not going to have a picnic outside, but why don't we go ice skating and have some hot chocolate? What do you think? Is there a difference between dating and hanging out? Because the hanging out is sort of like, a, let's meet here, and, you know, it's, I mean, do you think that more people are going to be hanging out versus dating uh, during a recession? And hanging out being not quite as formal as a date, you know, sort of like. Oh, hold on real fast. Be Oh, Diana, you are cute. Are we, can you guys hear us again? Because this is highly interactive and part of the fun of it <laughs> is that yes, you like. Can. So, okay, you do hear me. Fantastic. So, all the things that I was saying before about your moms. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> so, going back to recession proof dating, and, and John, you were saying how to. I know, it's mind boggling. I don't even. I'm just like, uh huh, Diana, whatever. <laughs> Come back to me, please. Um, going on about recession-proof yes, dating. Mm -hmm. What are what are some of the tips that you were that you were talking about? Um, number one, I think that dating is going to become a little bit more casual uh, uh, during a recession. It's going to be a little bit more about hanging. I mean, there's always going to be that realm of dating where women are going to expect. I, I think people of a certain age. Uh, who are broke right now, there's going to be more group activities. Yeah. There's going to be more hanging out. There's going to be more situations where it's not a ritual where a guy is trying to prove uh, his worth through dinners and movies. Um, you know, you mean like a monetary worth? It's sort of, yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, um, um, uh, uh, but one of the tips, definitely, one of the tips, definitely, is uh, budget. If you're, you're going out with her, mm -hmm. do a little research in, adv in advance. Find a cute place that has got great atmosphere and know the menu in advance. Know what you can afford. Right, because you can go to a, a restaurant and you think, oh, my gosh, this is going to be great. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, $30 per right. meal? That's 60 bucks plus if we do desserts and drinks, right. I'm looking at a $120 tab. A lot of guys don't do research. You can, you can yeah. do your research, find a place that's quirky, find a place that is off the beaten path that has great word of mouth and know how much you're going to drop if you're going to go the dating route. Otherwise, hanging out, you know, uh, I, I think it's a great alternative. I think hanging out is a great alternative, but in the beginning, women like things planned. They want to feel important. They want to feel special, and they want to know that you put some thought into it. Some of my worst dates have been when a guy will say, oh, we're getting